as a kid, like I used to play video games and I was like, man, this art is so cool. And, and I would always draw and stuff like that. And then later on I realized, oh, you can make art for video games. And that was like super exciting. So I just kind of like from that point on focused on that. Uh, it was, it's funny, I talk to people that don't know what to do with themselves and I've always been kind of driven towards that goal. Like once I discovered it, it's like, that's what I want to do. I would consider myself like a, a digital sculptor. Uh, I have been sculpting, not my whole life though, maybe junior year of college. I uh, started learning 3D programs, and uh, but before that it was all traditional, just drawing, messing around with things. I started off learning Maya, but wasn't always a huge fan, and I ended up self-teaching myself 3D Studio Max. And then from there I taught myself ZBrush, and ZBrush is like the best. It's good for everything almost. I've been dabbling in traditional sculpting too, um, through some encouragement, through some friends, and uh, Monster Clay Hard has been my favorite so far with that. Yeah, I, um, I use the Wacom Cintiq. Uh, I used to use the Wacom's tablets, but there's always that disconnect from when you're drawing and you're looking at the thing. Being able to like draw and see your stroke is such a huge difference. You don't end up drawing the same stroke over and over and over to get this line you want. Uh, I love creatures. Creatures all day, every day, dragons especially. <laughs> I don't know why dragons, uh, when I was a kid, I liked horses and then horses became dragons and it's just stuck. Like, they're just fascinating. I love reptiles in general. I actually have like a hobbyist breeding reptiles. I don't know. <laughs>As far as influences, like influences come from everywhere. Like you go on art station, you see this plethora of awesome artists. Like it's so hard to just choose one. Like inspiration comes from everywhere, from like past and present. Like you look at people like Bixinski and his art's phenomenal. And then like people today, like Alan Williams, there's just so much to choose from traditionally and non-traditionally. It's a great time to like be an artist. Uh, yeah, I love collecting art from other artists, mostly original art. That's like the biggest thing, like if it's somebody's own idea. I mean, I, I collect some things that are from a video game too. I love when I can see like something really creative by someone. Um, and I'm also really partial to things like creatures. Like as far as my personal work goes, I 3D print my work and then I make molds and casts because the 3D prints tend to break down over time. So like I'll sell the, the casts at shows or online. Monster Palooza is my favorite, but I also do DesignerCon. DesignerCon was actually my first show before I even moved to California. A great experience out in Pasadena. Met so many awesome artists. I don't even pay attention to the 1 6, 1 8. I, I've just kind of like, okay, I've got this figure at four inches. I've got this figure at two and a half inches. <laughs> It's pretty much how I've been doing things so far. <laughs> Whatever I feel looks good. I know for my last figure I did it bigger just because I wanted it to be bigger, not really for any other good <laughs> reason. <laughs> the Cerberus I had at Monster Palooza, it was actually, I was pretty happy with how that turned out. It was a lot of fun to make. My most proud of ever was the Chaos Siege Dragon I made for Total War Warhammer. I love that thing. It was so much fun to work on and just so much me. Like, I love Warhammer Zinch and dragons. It was just the perfect task. It's funny, as far as work goes, my mom thinks I make the entire video game. And a lot of people are baffled. People think that I just hit a 3D print button and I'm done. I don't have to do anything else. There's so much more work to it than that. I've got a Facebook and an Instagram. I'm more active on Instagram. You can message me. I actually check my messages. I sell casts of my 3D prints and I'm starting to do uh, casts of my traditional stuff that I plan to sell as well. I have a website www.crystalschimeras.com. It's spelled, crystals is spelled with an E. It's my name. What advice would you offer aspiring artists? 
Stay focused, stay disciplined. One of the biggest things I see people asking when they want to be an artist is how do you stay motivated? And really the motivation should just come from yourself. Like that's more a discipline thing. If you keep trying, keep learning, you'll get there. Like just be stubborn about it. <laughs>